Hi guys, back again. So today for the work that we're gonna practice and learn about is word problems. So word problems, the basic thing is you need to learn to read what the problem is telling you. So the first word problem I have is Keith's cat had six kittens. He gave three to his friends. How many kittens does he have now? So first you wanna circle the numbers. So we have six and three. And then in order to figure out what you do with it, you need to read what the information is. So his cat had six and he gave three. So six, if you're giving three away, it would be minus. So six minus three. Then you can use your hundreds chart and just count backwards. So six, we're gonna count out one, two, three. The answer is three. So that idea goes for most of the word problems. We're gonna to get to more complicated word problems later, but for now, let's go on and see what else we can find. So a restaurant made nine sandwiches to serve during lunch. Only four were actually served. How many sandwiches were left over? So left over is the key. So if you have leftovers, you've eaten some. So once again, we're going to subtract nine minus four. Using our hundred starts, nine, we're gonna count back four. One, two, three, four. The answer is five. Let's see if I have any pluses here. Let's make our own. So let's say Melanie found six seashells and then found two more. So Melanie found six seashells and then found two more. How many does she have now? So once again, we're gonna circle the numbers and then we're reading the information. Melanie found six seashells, then found two more. The more is the key. So more means that you're given more, you're adding. So six plus two. Now the number chart. Six, we're gonna go forward two because it's plus one, two. The answer would be eight. So this will give you a great idea for how to do addition, subtraction, word problems. Remember to look for the keys of the words. I did give you a cheat sheet that tells you the words that explain whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Next time we come back for this part, we'll go over multiplication and division and what those would look like with word problems. And then we'll get onto word problems that have extra information or multiple steps. Hope to see you soon. Bye.